Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. You're not getting sore in your training and you want to grow muscle. Is that a problem? Well, let's see. I've given this an extreme amount of thought and I've come up with at least four scenarios and you'll have to think about which one of these describes you. I'll go through each scenario and try to tell you if you're in that scenario, what your best options are and why to think about should you be worried about not getting sore. You're training, you think you're going pretty hard, but you're not getting sore. Option number one looks like this. In all of these, you're not getting very sore or sore at all. In the first one, you're also just barely recovering your performance week to week. That means if you did a whole lot more stuff, you would start to under recover and stop progressing. You're really pushing your body to its limits and you're making great gains. Your muscles are visibly larger over the months. Your performance is going up over time. The veins are there, etc., etc. You're getting stronger and stronger. Things seem to be going very well. Should you be concerned that you're not getting sore? No, probably not. There is not a huge concern. No changes are needed. And generally speaking, when you're in a position of getting pretty great gains, at least good, stable, consistent gains, the idea that there's an onus to change rapidly and in a big way is just not true. If it ain't broke, don't fix it is somewhat true. You can always optimize, but optimization needs justification. And if you're doing really, really well, you definitely don't want to screw with a lot of stuff. So the default here is touch nothing. Definitely no changes needed. You can play with a few things though in order to try to optimize the situation. You may be able to get even more growth for a similar or lower amount of fatigue resulting if you play with your technique to try to increase your mind-muscle connection, that is perceived tension and or burn in the target muscle when you're doing the lift, such that you are spending the same or smaller amount of physical energy on the lift, more of that energy goes to growing the muscle, less of it dissipates off as fatigue. That could be a great thing to potentially get you even better results. That might help you get a little bit sore, though that's not really what we're looking for because results is the reason soreness is even on our minds. And also it won't cost you any more actual inability to perform on the exercise, fatigue, et cetera. So it's not a big deal in this case, even though you're pretty much topped out in how much stuff you can do. So if that's you, those are your recourses. Again, just to review real quick, if you're not getting sore, but you're pushing your performance hard such that you're barely recovering and you're making great gains, leave well enough alone is the best advice. And if you want to mess with something, try to improve your technique so that you get a better mind-muscle connection. And that may give you small improvements in that context. Definitely don't add a ton of sets to your program just to try to get sore because you'll overreach because you're already pushing your body to its limits as defined by barely being able to recover performance. Number two scenario is you're easily recovering your performance and you're making great gains. First rule, you don't have to do anything because this is like a magical thing. You're getting great gains. You're easily recovering. You could easily do more, but you're getting great gains without. You're getting great gains. You're already winning, so you don't have to change anything. The second thing is if you want to change something, you can definitely try to increase your mind-muscle connection by messing with your technique and your awareness. You can also up the relative effort. You might be going four reps shy of failure when you really should be going two reps shy of failure. So you can try to train a little bit of heart, harder within each set, a little bit better technique within each set. And if that happens, but you're still way overly recovered, and having great results, you can experiment with increasing the volume a little bit by adding a set here or there every few weeks to see if you can get even better gains. Again, not a big deal because you're already getting great gains. So it's dealer's choice. Number three scenario, you're just barely recovering your performance. You're just barely hanging in there, but you're making not so great gains, poor gains or no gains at all. In this case, I have one almost fact for you that you can really rest your ideas on and go from there more is almost certainly not likely to be better. How could it be? You're barely recovering and you're not making great gains. If we do more, you're going to under recover. In what scenario is under recovering and getting weaker over time going to result in best long-term gains? Gee whiz, I can't really think of a ton. So the number one thing you do not want to do in this case is add more. You say, but hold on, but I'm not getting sore. Yeah, 
but in whatever other ways your muscles are fatigued that's not reflected by soreness, clearly they're really fatigued because you're barely recovering and you've got bad gains to go with. It's totally cool in this case to work on your mind-muscle connection and your technique, but doing less is the better option here. So if you're not getting sore, but you feel totally inundated with your program, you can barely recover and increase your performance week to week, then you can try to do two-thirds of the sets you normally do, even half the sets you normally do, make sure they're good technique, high quality, high effort, but take a deload and then reduce the volume of work and see if that smaller volume of work can actually allow you to recover better. It might, in fact, result in better gains. But whatever you do, if you're pushing your body to its limits already and you're still not getting sore, doing more than your limits is not a good idea. It's almost certainly a wrong answer. Last scenario, you're easily recovering performance. The amount of volume you're doing is thus not pushing you very hard, but you're also making poor gains and you're not getting sore. That's kind of the trifecta of you need more stimulus. So first, what you want to do is attend to the mind-muscle connection, which means better technique to really hit your target muscles hard. Secondly, you want to make sure your relative effort is attended to. Each set is pushing you hard. It's not just junk volume. It's quality volume. Because our sets are now with really good technique and each set is as hard as it should be, we fixed the quality portion and now you can mess with the quantity. If after you fix the quality, you're still easily recovering from performance, you're not making really good gains, and you're not really getting sore, more probably is the answer. So once every week or two weeks, increase an exercise or muscle group by a set here and there. Instead of three sets of leg press, go to four. If you can still recover great after a few weeks of four sets, go to five, so on and so forth, such that you raise the training volume. And because your effort is great and your technique is great and you have no problem recovering, you're probably going to get two things probably more sore and better results. And that better results is what we're going for. So in other words, just to review all of this, soreness can be an indicator that if we don't get it, we could be working harder getting it and also growing. But if we're already working as hard as we can via performance tracking and the ability to assess if you can even do more work, then even if we're not getting sore, more isn't the answer, not because soreness would be bad, but because you can't do any more as your body is telling you. So if you can do more and you're not getting very sore, it's a good idea to work on quality first, get your technique better, get your effort better per set. And then if that doesn't fix it, you can absolutely start adding sets in order to try to get two things. One, more sore, which if that happens, great. If not, no big deal, as long as your results also improve. Folks, if you have any questions about this, please shoot them in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.